friends, Andrew Carruthers here, Education Director for SAMVIA. In this video about problems and solutions, we're taking some of the really common challenges behind the chair that happen every day and we're creating some solutions for them. One of the common ones that we find is when we're trying to create a really nice precision bottom edge, after we blow dry it, sometimes there tends to be a little bit of graduation or some inconsistencies in this bottom edge. And there's a couple of things that are really common challenges that we can help you out with. So when we're looking for a really precise, really solid bottom edge, it's really important that the hair is cut as closely as possible to its natural fall. So if we place our fingers into the hair, one, we're already starting to introduce a little bit of elevation. Now that isn't so much elevation that it's going to completely ruin your shape, but we need to be really cautious when using our fingers in, in the hair that we're not lifting the hair up and away. So as we tend to do this, one of the tendencies is people tend to continue to elevate the hair farther and farther away from its natural fall. So make sure if you're gonna be using your fingers to control the shape that you keep your fingers as close to natural fall as possible. The other thing that happens is because a lot of times the guest is below us, that we're not eye level with our cutting line, to see our guide down here, what we'll do is we tend to flip our fingers up towards us and bend the hair upward out of its natural position. Also what we're doing here is creating some elevation to the hair, introducing graduation again. The challenge here is once I cut that and then it falls back to its natural fall, we're not gonna have that precision solid line that we're looking for. And then the last thing that you wanna be cautious of is when we place our fingers in and we go to cut, once we get that guideline, when we go to the next section, as we come down, a lot of us get so careful about trying to connect to that previously cut guideline that we cut kind of right on the guideline. What we suggest that you do is that you actually bring the shears in and you cut at the bottom edge of the guideline rather than right on top of the guideline. And what that'll do is make sure that the next section that comes down isn't a little bit above your previously cut section. If anything, it's almost slightly below your previously cut section. We need to remember that the farther and farther we go up the head shape, the more this area is going to swell as it blow dries in relationship to this hair. So if you almost have a touch of length with each section, as you blow dry, that little bit of length will actually even up quite nicely. Now, another solution to all of this is if the hair will allow, actually just keep your hands out of it. Introduce a comb. Because when we're using a comb, we tend to use less tension and stretch on the hair, allowing for more of that, that ability for the hair as it blow dries to pop up. And also with a comb, it's easier to keep the hair at its true natural fall position. So as you're cutting your next bob or one length haircut, and you're a little nervous about adding that little bit of graduation or lack of control on the perimeter, Try these things. Make sure that your fingers are flat, you're not curling the section up, and if all else fails, try introducing a comb instead. We hope that this helps you out with a really common challenge behind the chair. Any questions, concerns, comments, leave them below in that little box. We're always happy to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Andrew Carruthers, Education Director for Sam Villa.